pads and this is what I use. I use three fingers and I build a triangle and I touch and I send the positive suggestions. Hey there, today I'm talking to you with our little dog Enzo. Enzo is a 17 week old Shih Tzu and he came to us into our lives like this. He just jumped into our lives totally unexpectedly and as he is a little puppy he is very active and very often he has difficulties coming down and finding sleep and hypnosis is something I use to help him calm down. Have you ever wondered if you can hypnotize your dog or your cat or your pet you live with? I know there are different opinions out there and some people say it's impossible to hypnotize pets. To me it's totally possible because what's the difference between a soul living in a pet and the soul as a human being? So to me it's not a huge difference and that's why I like to use this not invasive easy to apply method to help for now this little guy to calm down. <laughs> what are you saying? Hmm? So how I use this there are a couple of steps I usually do before I actually hypnotize anyone. Um, with human beings like with animals you build rapport first and I assume you have done this if it's your own pet you have built a phenomenal rapport and the pet and you you know each other very well and you trust each other and the second thing I do I do this with the superconscious mind on the superconscious mind level I ask for permission I ask for permission to hypnotize never hypnotize anyone neither a human being nor a pet against their will it's not possible it, it doesn't work and you shouldn't approach that like this so I ask for permission and after approval I hypnotize and I use my three fingers the the thumb the pointer finger and the middle finger and I build a triangle and I put my fingers very gently I only touch I do not press it's a very gentle touch around the third eye and the third eye is in between the eyes on the forehead like for human beings it's a similar position for the pets and this is what I use I use three fingers and I build a triangle and I touch yeah. and I send the positive suggestions in this case for calmness and you have about 10 to 30 seconds to give your information on a subconscious level to his subconscious level and you can repeat that if you want and it's very important that you share your message you can think it you can say it out loud that you phrase it in a positive manner and in a future video I'm going to share with you what I mean by that and he will tell you or she the pet it will tell you when it's enough and they want to stop and you follow the pet's guidance and it's a very very gentle method to deliver your message to help it to calm down for instance or to help it with pain if you know what the reason for the pain is you can help that or with digestion even with digestive issues it is super super helpful and it's an easy to apply method and actually it doesn't take a lot of time and it helps you even bond more with your pet and it's a super super easy method and find out for yourself give it a try test it and see what you think what your pet says to that and treat it as a soul because it is a soul and I like doing this and I did it multiple times and to be honest it was always successful hypnosis is a very positive method and I only can suggest for you to do this and find out more and no matter if it's a, a tiny little dog a really excited puppy or if it's an older dog and you want to share a little energy for for your older dog or whatever you need or your dog needs in this particular situation 
find out for yourself. Enjoy, have fun, and I see you soon.